guys, I hope you're having a great day today. So I wanted to show you my empties from the months of October and November. The reason why I didn't do an empties video in the month of October is because I did not have hardly anything. Um, I had like three things I used up in that entire month and I figured that would be a really quick video. I did one before that was quick like that, but I figured you guys would want to see more than just three products. So, um, I just waited until, um, uh, until I had some more, um, that I had accumulated, um, in the month of November. So, um, and it's actually quite a lot. Um, <laughs> so, uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing that I used up is the Skintimate, uh, Shave Gel in, let's see, what is this? Strawberry Tangerine Twist. Um, I... I like this. Um, the scent is um, much nicer than the other one that I uh, had in my empties video um, in uh, September. Um, I just this this scent is much nicer. It's uh, very fruity, so I do I do enjoy that. Um, yeah, and it's it's a really good shape gel. So. Um, I, I definitely would repurchase this just because um, I love the line um, and this particular scent it's it's kind of funny because I like I like fruity scents um, so there's this one that I like and then there's another one that's berry something I don't remember exactly what it is but um, yeah so I definitely definitely would repurchase this let's see next thing um, a ton of proactive things let me just say that I've used up so much of my proactive system that I use um, I kind of was uh, blown away by how much I went through in a month so um, the first thing I used up is my skin smoothing exfoliator um, this is the face wash that I use um, I've talked about this and the rest of the um, stuff that I use um, for my skincare Hi Mocha um, in a uh, skincare routine video. Um, I will link that down below because I'm not going to go in depth um, here, but you can um, go ahead and uh, click on that link down below and you can uh, see what I use um, and uh, just, just a little bit more of an in-depth review. So. Um, I absolutely love this. Um, as I've said many times before, my skin um, has cleared up immensely since I started using the Proactive Plus line. Um, if you would have seen me, gosh, I think I've been using this for over a year now. If you would have seen me over a year ago, you would have just, it was just, oh my goodness. I, it was so bad. Um, so, this has cleared up my skin immensely. So, um, this is definitely a repurchased product. Um, yeah, I, I'm in love with this. So, um, piggybacking off of that, um, I used up the, um, skin purifying mask and this is like, um, it, well, it's not like, it is a, uh, exfoliating mask. Um, it says to use it every um, two to three days. I usually do it, so like I'll do it on a Monday night and then I won't do it again till Friday night. Um, and so I just kind of space it out like that and that works out really well. Um, and this gets my skin so smooth. I just love this. Um, it gets all the, the dead skin and every, you know, everything that's just crap. Um, out of your out of your pores and all that so this is this is a great great product um, and you can get these separately if you don't want to get the kit you can get them separately um, on the proactive website again I will link all that happy stuff um, down below for you so um, use that up um, still going with the proactive line here um, I like I said I used up on pretty much everything um, uh, let's see, this is the Complexion Perfecting Hydrator. Um, I have used up, yeah, I don't even think you'll be able to see. I, I love this. Um, as you know, with Proactive Plus, um, or if you, or if you are new, you probably wouldn't know. Um, Proactive, uh, uses, um, benzoyl peroxide. 
and with benzoyl peroxide, your skin dries out really, really quick. Um, I've noticed that with my hands because um, I use, um, obviously, my hands to um, apply all of my um, face products uh, in regard to the proactive line and my hands are really dry from the benzoyl peroxide. So, um, and the same thing goes for on your face. Um, and so this just kind of puts that moisture back in your skin and I love this. Um, and I've said this five million times before, I used to think that people with oily skin, which I have pretty oily skin, um, I used to think that people with oily skin didn't need a hydrator because why would you want to add more oil to your face? But um, that is uh, actually a um, false um, claim. Uh, even people with oily skin need a hydrator. So um, this just, this has just saved my skin from being like that just peely just nastiness so um all that to say i i really really love this so and honestly i love everything from the line um but those are just a few of my um favorites so uh let's see let's move away from the proactive stuff for just a second um i used up the um what are these the up and up um, baby wipes. I get these at Target. Um, they are, how much are they? Let's see. Um, they're the unscented ones. There's 72 wipes in here. I use these, um, for wiping swatches and, um, foundation and things off of my hands. Um, and these are just, they're really, really great. Um, they're unscented, so they don't, um, if you have sensitive skin, they won't, um, bother your, um, bother your skin. Um, they are really cheap. Um, the Target I get them at sells them for $1.79. I just picked up two packs today. Um, and these are just, I love these. I've used um, a few others and I just, this is the best brand that I've come across. So I really like these. Um, yeah, so they're, they're great. So I used up the Lady Speed Stick Invisible Dry 24 Hour Protection. Um, this is in Powder Fresh. Um, this one I do like, um, it's better than, I forget what the other one was, but it was really perfumey, um, and so this one was better. Um, I'm using a different one now, I don't even remember what it is, but, um, this, this one is good. Um, the one thing that I really hate with deodorants is when they tell you that it will be, like this one says, invisible dry, meaning that you won't get white marks on your clothes, which is a complete lie because I've let this dry before I put my shirts on and I still get the white marks. So that's one thing that really irritates me. Um, so <laughs> I, I don't know. Um, so that's the one knockoff with this that I don't appreciate. Um, yeah. So, but other than that, it works wonderfully. Some more proactive things. <laughs> um, I used up uh, another one of my uh, skin smoothing exfol exfoliators. Um, again, like I just went into um, a little bit of it. I love this face soap. It's just awesome. Um, you will not be disappointed. I can assure you of that. If you do try this out, um, it's, it's awesome. So if you have you know, just acne prone skin and you just need something that will actually clear you up and not make you worse and all that kind of stuff. And you're tired of going to dermatologists, which is what I did. And they gave me like these topical creams that did nothing. They actually made the acne worse. Um, this is the only thing that has cleared it up completely. So this is, I would highly, highly recommend this you guys. So, um, check this out. I, I, yeah, just go ahead and check it out. Um, okay, last uh, few things. So, um, and I think it's the last proactive thing. Yes, um, the uh, pore targeting uh, treatment. This is kind of like your toner. Um, you use this after you use the skin smoothing exfoliator. Um, I I really like this. Again, it's it's the whole line is just great. But I. Um, yeah, I feel the same about every every product from this line that I've used, I feel the same about. So, 
love this. I just can't get enough of the line. Um, okay, the next thing that I used up is my Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Cleansing Facial Wipes. Um, as you've heard me talk about before, I tried a lot of different um, makeup removers um, in the wipe kind of form, already wet form, um, and they uh, burned my skin because I have not overly sensitive, but I just, I have sensitive skin and um, a lot of times I would just end up with severely burned skin and I wasn't quite sure what ingredient in whatever the makeup remover uh, products I was using, what ingredient caused that. I still don't know. Um, but this so far is the only brand that does not burn my skin. Um, so um, if you have sensitive skin like I do and you've been searching around for a um, makeup wipe that doesn't burn your skin, I highly, highly would recommend that you check these out. Um, I get these at, um, I can get them in bulk, in bulk at Target because they sell um, a two pack for, oh gosh, I think they sell a two pack for, I'm going to say $5.99. I could be completely wrong. I'll look it up and um, I will list it um, either as an annotation with the correct price or um, I will list it down below. Um, so I either get them at Target or I can get them at Ulta. Um, pretty, You can get them anywhere. Um, so like the drugstores, if you have a CVS or whatever, um, it's they're pretty much everywhere. So um, I would highly recommend that you check these out. Um, okay, last thing, I used up my Melaleuca Sunshades chapstick. Um, this one was in Vanilla Bean. I really like this chapstick. This, honestly, for me, is the only chapstick that keeps my lips hydrated to where I can apply it once and they're still hydrated. A lot of times, chapsticks, just for me personally, I put them on and within an hour or two of talking and doing other things, they're just immediately just dry and just nasty. So um, this is the only one that has really held up for me. All right, so that was um, a mouthful, um, but that is it for my um, October and November empties. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Bye.